Okay, guys, here we go. Another recent client offerings video. Okay, there's a bunch of them here. I'm going to show them to you. Then we'll talk about each one a little bit. I don't want this to be, uh, you know, a really long video. So anyway, let me say this. The sheath for your knife is its protector. It not only protects you from the knife, but it protects your gear from the knife as well. Right? So you can, I can't tell you how many times I've seen guys put a knife through a leather sheath and damage their gear or pierce their leg or whatever. You know, big laceration on their leg. I had it happen to me in Idaho years ago. Guy, you know, was sheathing his knife, put it through the back of the sheath and into his thigh. So it happens. The only material that is super safe out there is Kydex. So if you have a knife that you use in the field all the time, you might want to think about putting it in a Kydex sheath. One that it's worthy of. Get it? All right, so let's start with the big boy, okay? This is... Now remember, this is the forward-facing camera on my phone, right? You know, I'm using my phone instead of the GoPro because... Honestly, my phone takes better video than my GoPro does. Okay? So, anyway. This is set up for Baldrick carry. This is what the client wanted. Okay? And you can note, you notice that these things are three inches on center apart. Okay? Molly webbing usually runs 1.5 inches from center to center. Okay? You can't put these that close together, then you won't be able to use use them. You get what I'm saying? So if the knife is big enough, I'll put a mount plate on there. And the sheath is wide enough. This is just wide enough to get three inches. To get two spread out. Usually I put one right in the center. That's all you need. That's really all you need, especially for smaller knives. This is a big honking space gun of a knife. <laughs> okay? So he clips in here with his own uh, sling, and he clips in here at the top, okay? And notice how high up that D-ring is. Usually when you see a Baldrick carry, the top attachment is right about here. It doesn't carry as well unless you spread that weight out, okay? It, it, it carries really well if you can get that D-ring up higher. So that's what we do. Okay, and it, there's this thing. This it's not coming off. You got to undo the screws to get that thing off. Okay, it ain't gonna break off. I mean, unless an elephant steps on it, even then, I think it would take it, right? I mean, I've had Humvees drive over my sheaths and not break them. You know that kind of thing. That's a testament to Kydex. Okay, so there's that. Here's the four, here's the front. Nothing on it. He didn't want anything on it. This is for the El Chete from Tops. The El Chete. You can see that. I don't know if that's the way he wants it. It looks cool. I mean, it's not really rusted, rusted. Okay. Got that yellow hawk click. You want to hear that again, right? There it is. That is the number one reason guys have a custom Kydex sheath made, is that click, right? That click is your guarantee that that knife's not coming out of that sheath unless you take it out. It's not like a leather sheath where it's gonna just slip out, right? Happens all the time. All right? So there's that one. Just regular black Kydex. Okay. Boom. Next. Alright, so... This is the Phobos Alaris. Okay. This is probably my favorite knife in their lineup. I don't know what it is. I like that belly, and I like how that belly comes down further than the handguard. Just simple. 
okay? This is one effective knife. I love it. But I made myself a leather elite. This is a uh, black alligator over kydex, okay? And then I got that close carry straps on there so I can carry it, however, on my belt, okay? Take a look at the Alaris again. Good looking knife. He, Eric Hansen. He did a great job designing this one, man. I mean, all his knives are nice. But something about this one that just I really like. With that, you know, like stonewashed finish. Red liners. Carbon fiber scales. That lightens it up a little bit. Okay, bow drill divot goes on both sides too. Don't ask me how they did that. Good idea though. <laughs> okay, there's that. So anyway, I took my Alaris because they run pretty, pretty uh, much the same from knife to knife to knife. Okay, and I built another sheath for a client. Okay, this is what the client wants. Okay, he's got three different styles of carry with the belt clip on his belt. Then he's got the Raptor Dangler, which just easily detaches from the sheath. This is a game changer, guys. These Raptor Dangler assemblies. And I sell them separately for guys who want it for another sheath. It doesn't matter whether I built it or not. Okay, it'll fit the tech lock or the combat lock bell clip, or the small tech lock. Just tell me what you have, and I'll fine-tune it for you. Okay? But it, it should fit all of them, to be honest. Okay? Base mount ferro rod, basket weave kydex. This is the really thick stuff, too. Like, way, way thicker than 093, but not as thick as uh, .125, right? This stuff is hard to work with when it's this thick. When it makes a bomb-proof sheath. Okay? There's that one. <clears throat> uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. A William Collins. If, I don't know what this one's called. He's got quite a few different designs. But you see that transitional grind that he does? Okay, you got like a Scandi grind here. And then a... Saber Vex or a, or a Convex grind here. Nice. Nice. And these things are razor sharp. I cut myself. I did. I usually don't cut myself. Usually I don't. This one got me. Just reached out and went. <clears throat> okay. Operator Kydex. This is called. Uh, what is this called? Jawa? Yeah. Jawa. Jawa got a face mount ceramic rod face mount ceramic rod okay for sharpening for honing actually really just a honing device okay and then he's got he wanted a molly lock clip on this one molly lock that's what he said and he also wants to be able to put a belt clip on it, too, which he can. Okay? There it is. Worked out nice. I like this one. Mount plate. See that mount plate? It's key. Mount plates are key. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with them. All right? I can make sure that you can do a whole bunch of stuff with them. <laughs> okay, next one. This one is going on the D-ring of a shoulder strap. Right? Like this. D-ring of a shoulder strap. And then he's going to use, if he needs it, I don't think he's going to need it. Um, I got a couple of Ranger bands in here and a Velcro strap for him. With a combat lock belt clip. Okay? That combat lock belt clip will fit on here. Just take this clip off, put that one on, boom, you're done. You got belt carry. Okay? That's how that goes. Right? And face mount ferro rod. This is um, orange Cryptek. 
He didn't ask for this. I'm hoping he likes it, right? Most guys, when I make a choice for them, they usually go with it, you know? They're like, yeah, that's cool, man, right? But sometimes they're like, Doug, I didn't ask you to do that. Now, take that shit off of it. <laughs> I've had guys say it, right? Take that shit off of it. I don't want all that. But it's cool. A little bit of, you know, contrast. I mean, you're already looking at a sheet that you, you can see from 17 miles away. <laughs> All right? This is for the uh, SC4. I have one of these. And they run pretty, pretty much the same from knife to knife. I figured that out on this one. Okay, so on this knife they do... You don't have to send it in. Okay? Alright, so this baggie's going with it. And then this. And he can pick and choose. Alright, one more. I got a, I got a very simple bench made. Uh, it's not the Nimravis. I don't think it's the Nimravis. I forget what this one's called. But a lot of the Spec Ops guys like these knives. Uh, we had our choice of whatever we wanted to carry, we could carry, pretty much. Okay? So, there's that. He wanted just the sheath, nice and small. Okay? And there it is. So, what I do is I make the sheath and I show it to him. I say, hey, is this cool before I put the eyelets in? I say, you good with that? Right? And if they say, if they say no, then I'll... I'll do whatever they want me to do further, but he, he likes this one, so we're good to go. Nice thumb ramp on there. All right, that's it. All right, guys, this is uh, uh, the end of this recent client offerings video. Uh, I want to say this to you guys who support Yellowhawk Customs. I really appreciate the support. I really do. I work hard for you guys, and I build stuff that is absolutely bomb-proof in the field. I appreciate all the support you guys give. I'm always busy. Um, for one guy, I'm busy. I'm busy. All right? And I've been super blessed, and I'm really excited to get into this new year and put out some really... Neat looking stuff. Bomb proof stuff. Alright guys, this is Doug Wilson from Yellowhawk Customs Outdoors. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, if you would, just go to that subscribe button and boop. Doesn't cost you anything and it really helps out. It really does. Okay? I appreciate it. See ya!